Hello there, soulmates and precious. Welcome to our day two of um, our free online tutorial. Like I said, the tutorial is going to be very intensive. If you've not gotten your materials, you know, please get it. If you've not seen the first video on how to take measurement, I'll be dropping the link below. Don't forget to subscribe and share our videos with your soul friends and any other person that is interested in fashion designing. So today we'll be learning how to draft our basic bodice block half scale. Okay, so like I said in the first video, as we continue in the class, if there, if there are other things I want you to know, I will um, show you. So today I want to talk about the arm side. I don't know it sounds somehow, but I'm going to write it down so that we'll get the correct, you know, spelling. So that's the arm's eye. What the arm side does is for us, like when you finish making your dress or your blouse and you can't raise your hands up. Most people say um, they don't know why or something. So you need to get your arm side measurements accurately to be able to raise your hands up after making any design or garments, okay? So I'll be showing us how to take that measurement. Now, if it doesn't work for you, like I told you, I know three ways. The first way is to divide your full ball circumference measurement by six and add 1.5 inches to it to get your chest line. The second way, is to use 9 inches, which I say, when I say 9 inches is standard because by the time you remove your shoulder slope and the rest, you might be left with probably 7 inches or 8.5, um, so 8 inches left, okay? But when there, the third method is the arm's eye. I think this is one of the most, this, this is also very accurate, like, you know, but I don't know, it might work for some people, it might not work, but I believe one out of these three methods should work for you. Now, to take the arm side measurements, I'm going to flip this body form to the back. You can you see where the shoulder drops here, okay? So if you're taking it down to where your arms, like your arm hole, in, in between your armpit, sorry, like here, from my shoulder here, if I want to take my arm side measurement, I'll be taking it from here to this point, where I, when I raise my hands up, you know, that will enable you. Most times, it might not be more than 8 or 7 inches. So for my body form is even eight inches, okay? So you can see it's eight inches. Now I'm going to take go to the table. When I on the table, I will show you, you know, the spelling and of the arms eye. So probably you can browse more about it. Like get read designers, please read a lot. We need to read to update or grade ourselves too. So I'm going to be writing it out for us to see and you know find out what it really means and how it will help us. Okay, so mates, you can see, I just checked on Google now and I saw this, I thought to share with us. So this is the arm side, you see, from here, the, from your shoulder seam to under is the height of the arm side. So it will help us, you know, so we'll get a perfect arm hole. Alright there, so mates, so these are the required measurements we need mind you this i'll be using this measurement throughout our tutorial the only thing i'll be adding to it when we are drafting our full scale is from the waist to the hip and the hip measurements now we need the length you remember i talked about the front length on our um um half stick measurement video i'm going to be dropping the link below the back length okay i told you the difference between the front and the back length okay across chest or front width okay I showed us how to also take that. This across back or back width. You need your shoulder measurements, your full bust circumference measurement, your waist measurement, your under bust measurement. This is the under bust measurement. While the 13.5 I have here is from the shoulder to the under bust measurement. Okay, this is the bust pan which we know as our nipple to nipple. This is the bust point which we know as our shoulder to nipple measurement. And this is also the arm side measurements. So next, I'll show us how to draft the bodies. Okay, so here I have a mer margin. This margin, there is no rule to it. You can just draw. You can even start from here. But just because I'm teaching, I like to start so that we understand. So this margin is our front length, which is 17 inches. Can you see? Make sure it's accurate. This is 17 inches here. Okay. So I'm going to mark on it like this. Now, to get the width of this, you need your bigger, the biggest part or the fullest part of your measurement. So here, the fullest part of my measurement is the bust, which is 36. So I'm going to be dividing 36 by 2, that is 18. So 18 plus half inch seam allowance, I'll have 
18.5 so my 18.5 will be here like so and I'll try to get a straight line okay all right so remember I said here is our shoulder you know front length which is 17 inches front length front length 17 inches that's what I used to get here then this side is our bust measurement or the fullest part of your measurement divided by two plus half inch remember this is a half scale you know just from our shoulder to the half length that we are drafting so that's why you need the fullest part and the fullest part of your measurement have, have to be your bust measurement except if your waist is bigger than your bust then you can use your waist measurement so here remember i divided my bust into two okay and I added half inch, so I got 18.5. So what I'll do is divide 18.5 again by 2 because I need to um, separate this line, this box. I need to divide it into 2 so that we can get um, front, our front and our back block. So 18.5 divided by 2 is 9.25, okay? So now that I've gotten 9.25, I'm going to have I like, rule a straight line so I've succeeded in you know separating the lines okay all right so you have to make sure that you get these lines straight now this here will be our CB this is CB means center back okay center back so all the back measurements will be here and here will be our center front that's cf it means center front okay so we're putting all the front measurements there now to continue with our tutorial remember our shoulder measurement is eight that's 16 sorry so i'm going to divide 16 by two and i'll have eight inches so from the cb I'll go in by the 8 inches, which is our shoulder. Now, the standard, because we're drafting just the body, there's no style yet. The neck width will be 3 inches, is standard. By, you can use half inch or 1 inch. So, but by the time you want to start, you know, adding your styles to it, you can just change it, you know, if you wish. So, I'll be connecting, you know, this like this okay can you see that so this is our neckline now on the shoulder slope for the back I'll come down by one inch this one inch is perfect the standard is okay for the back and then I'll connect it to you know the neck width Can you see? Remember, we're talking about our arm side, arm side, arm side. Okay? Now it's time to put the arm side down. Now, what I do are two ways to go about it. Okay? Because my arm side is 8 inches, I can just come from here and mark 9. This, my arm side is 8 inches. Can you see? If I should put my 8 inches mark here, if I go up, it will be 9 inches. That's why most times I say, nine is standard okay so if, you, if yours is not nine please just measure your arm side and work with your own accurate um, measurement nine works perfectly for me so work with what works perfectly for you can you see so i'm just going to rule it over you know so this is going to be or this will be our chest line i'm still going to label on it so that this line does not you know confuse us okay so this is it now i'll bring down my shoulder measurement you know to touch my chest line here so i'll bring it down like this and draw a straight line as well can you see it's already taking shape now I will stop here. Let me go to the front because I need to do a lot of work around this area. So for the front as well, our shoulder is 8 inches. Can you see? And the width and depth, I'm going to be making it 3 by 3 inches. You can also do 3 by 4, 
it doesn't matter so if you're doing three by four that is what it should look like this so i'm just going to mark this out okay so you you can make a box or a, like a square this is not compulsory if you can just find your way around the curve you're good to go okay so that like i said is not too necessary i'm just going to give it that little bit of curve here then for the shoulder slope I'll come down by 1.5 inches, you know, for the front and then connect from my shoulder slope, you know, to touch. Can you see? That easy. And then to get a straight line, I'll mark my 8 inches here. The 8 inches there is my shoulder measurement and connect it up. Now, remember we took our front width and our back width. Now, how to get your front width? the back measurement you divide from the shoulder slope to your chest line by two mine is eight so definitely the midpoint is four inches so i'll just connect this four you know across i'll mark across like this okay now this is a guide to where we'll be putting our front width now across chest for the front is 13. so if i divide it 13 by two i'll be left with 6.5 okay 13 inches divided by two is 6.5 so if i should put down my 6.5 here can you see i want to explain something to us here it is too much it will go in too much okay so if yours is more than 1.5 like mine you can use 0.75 for the front for the front width okay while my back width is 14 which is 7 inches i have one inch left it is still too much because it will go in too much by the time you fix your sleeve you might still find it difficult to raise your head so what i do is i just use half inch okay so that is what i do and it works perfectly for me and my clients as well so you connect from your front width to the shoulder slope i'm sorry back with the shoulder slope and repeat the same too for the front can you see now you need your armhole curve okay because you need to make a curve like this can you see and also for the back as well it is just easy and with this you can do so many things remember designers are not lazy people get up and do something you can do it okay you can do it okay so i'll just connect these lines can you see it's already taken, you know, a nice shape. So let's continue. Now, the next measurement I need here is from my shoulder to the bust pan. Okay, I need that for the front. Okay, so from shoulder to nipple point or bust point, here I have 10.5. So I'm just going to put that down and mark across 10.5 inches like so can you see i'll stop here now for the back remember the front with the front length is 15 and the um, sorry 17 and the back length is 15. so this is my back length here can you see the difference between the front and the back length i'm sure some of us will be wondering oh god how this thing fits in just wait and watch okay so this is it my back length and i have my front length now for the front, I need my bust pan measurement, which is 8 inches. So from the center front here, I will go in. If I divide it by 2, that's 4. I'm just going to make a big point here because I'll be coming down by 1 inch. Okay? So I'm going to cross-check it. Always cross-check, okay? Don't just assume that it is okay. Cross-check so that you can do the right thing. Okay? Now I'm going to join the dark leg. Just a straight line. I'll repeat the same. For the back, when you use your boss pan measurements, 4 inches, I'll still come down by 1 inch as well. This is optional. You can still start it from, you know, your chest line. But most times, I just prevent it so that it will not affect the sleeve. That is why I don't, you know, go down. So, I'm going to connect this straight line like so. Okay. Now... The back, remember to eliminate our back puff, I'll go in by half inch. I'm still going to explain something about this back to us. 
but let's just proceed with the lecture. Like I said, it's going to be very intensive. I can't wait for you guys to start asking questions, okay? So I've eliminated back puff here. Now I'll be opening up my darts by half inch on both sides. Now that is why I said I was going to explain something to us. Now we're supposed to take in this and add here. But we didn't add enough. I just added half inch to my boss pan, my boss circumference measurement. Okay. So if you want to do yours, if you add the half inch here, you'll be having 0 0.75 here, 0 0.75 there. Sometimes it depends on what you're making, it could be useful. But if you're not making anything too serious, it might just be too much. Okay. So I'm going to connect this dot line like this. So you open your dart to have this triangular form. I'll repeat the same thing here, like this and like this, and then connect. Now the next step we want to do is take our bust measurement divided by four so that we can start fixing it where it belongs, okay? So the bust I'm working with is 36. Because I don't need to add to it here, except you can still work on it. If I divide that 6 by 4, it is 9 inches, and this is 9 inches here. If I also repeat the same thing, and yes, it's on your chest line that you put your bust measurement, not on your bust point line, okay? So, the waist we're working with is 29. So, 29 divided by 4 will give us 7, let's see, 7.25, okay? So, this is it here. 7.25 remember we added one inch for that i'm going to put it back okay we repeat the same thing for the back i'll be measuring my 7.25 here one inch for the darts and the half inch we went in by it is necessary you add those things back always add it back okay now this is the reason why i said you know i just exhaust the whole i don't just go by it Okay, it is it's still okay that way, and then I mark up to this part. Can you see? Now it's time for us to put in our bust that okay. So remember, I said from the center front to this point here is our nipple point. So I'm going to go in from the nipple point by one inch so that I can put in the difference between my front and my back, which is two inches. So I'll just come down here and mark my two inches okay you can also look for the midpoint you know of these two inches which is one here this is not necessary though but you can if you want to okay like i said it is not necessary but i'm just going to show us though so this is what it looks like so this is our dart can you see now we have our bust that transferred to this part now because the bust that's by we need to fold it up so when we want to cut, you know, we'll come out a little bit so that we'll have the space to cut the buzzer. How will you do that? You can come out here by half inch or one inch, you know, and then let's say, because I don't have enough space there, that is why I'm coming out by half inch, which is still very okay. Can you see? And then I'll connect it back like this, you know, to accommodate my bust that so that by the time I fold my bust that it will match up now this is what we need to know now I'm going to cut this out and show you how to add your same allowances to it Okay, so this is it ladies now for us to make this equal like I said you have to open one dart to close another dart so there are two ways like when we see most of like some people say oh, they draft all those patterns that will have shoulder that I want to transfer this dart now to the shoulder what you need to do is measure your shoulder point like this so look for the midpoint mine is two points um, zero two five 
and connect it straight like this to your bust points, okay? Now, I'm going to open that new line that we have here. So when I open it up, I'll be closing up, you know, my bust that. Make sure let me see. Make sure you're working with your boss points. So I've successfully transferred this. So I'm going to pin it down now. I'm sorry, I'll be taping it down. So this is it. I've transferred, you know, this, you know, the um, boss that to the shoulder. You can also transfer this boss that to the waist if you don't want to open it on your shoulder. Everything can be on your waist. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial, ladies. Next, on our next tutorial, I will show you how to add seam allowances around your bodies. Okay, and then how to transfer it, you know, to your fabric. So you can use your, your shoulder that if you want or your waist that. So I'll just show that to add seam allowances to this and then how to transfer it to our uh, fabric so we might probably be doing a test fit so we will know how you know the fit is i might just use the transfer this boss that to the waist so that we can have a perfect test fit now if you see the waist you know and the boss can you see our back and our front is now equal okay so ladies and precious hope to see your comments your questions please ask questions okay ask questions don't forget to like subscribe and share and in the end of this video or this class we'll be having a question and answer session with our live video on our facebook group i'll be dropping the link down okay thank you for watching i hope you learned something today i'm precious bye